I'm Peter Benchley. When I wrote a novel called Jaws, I was faced with a fascinating challenge. How to describe the instincts of a beast that is so perfect that it has never needed to evolve. Well, to write about sharks is one thing, but to venture into their world is something else. From his early years, Peter's love and understanding of the ocean and its creatures came naturally and were reinforced throughout the rest of his life. Since 1960, hundreds of people have reached the summit of Mount Everest. More than a dozen astronauts have touched the surface of the moon, but only two men have reached the deepest part of the ocean. Most important, we must begin to think differently about these wonderful creatures, to see them for what they really are. The Peter Benchley Ocean Awards are designed to carry forward his legacy and to honor outstanding achievement in a wide array of categories. The work you are doing is vital and extraordinary. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to the seventh annual Peter Benchley Ocean Awards. It's the Peter Benchley Ocean Awards, otherwise known as the Academy Awards of the Oceans. The Benchley Awards are unique in acknowledging outstanding achievement across a wide range of marine categories, including national leadership, science, policy, media, youth, exploration, and citizen activism. It means so much just the recognition and being able to network all these other amazing people and getting their advice and just learning from them. To make a difference, you have to become the difference and not just be a small wave of change in the world. You have to be a tidal wave and just flood the world with this change. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the symposium. When Casey told me about the impressive work you are doing, I leapt at the chance to talk to you today. It's always a joy to speak to young conservationists who are already making a big difference in protecting the health of wildlife and their communities. I've been working on blue and green issues my entire life. My passion for the ocean started when I was a young girl in Stonington, Connecticut on the East Coast, sailing and swimming and having a lovely, lovely time. I would later become an active supporter of blue and green issues. As a young mom raising two children in Princeton, New Jersey, these issues were front and center. One of my first projects was fighting a toxic incinerator. It took me eight years, but we did win, so it was worth the effort. The pivotal turning point in my life was when my husband, Peter Benchley, wrote the novel Jaws. It changed our lives forever, and for the next 30 years after the movie and the book came out, we dedicated our lives to protecting sharks and the ocean. I overcame my claustrophobia, which was really pretty major. I learned how to scuba dive and had a fascinating time traveling the world, diving in oceans, and discovering the exotic creatures and enchanting beauty that the oceans hold. I also, however, witnessed the tremendous destruction that we have caused. As you all know, the health of our oceans is directly connected to our rivers and waterways. The field work you're doing, water testing, data collection, participating in river and land cleanups is really vital. Your knowledge of this upstream-downstream connection already puts you in a leadership position. Most people don't really understand that no matter where we live on Earth, our actions are impacting the oceans. I hope you will take this important work experience that you have had to the next level as you think about college and your careers. More than ever, we need environmental problem solvers across every level of expertise. People often ask me what they can do that will make a difference for our oceans. I say to them, just look in the mirror, think about what you love, and then try to follow your passion. Also think about how that passion might connect, even in an indirect way, to the oceans and to the environment. 
The truth is almost every field of endeavor can connect to protecting our environment in some way. You do not have to be a marine scientist or a professional diver to make a difference. Feeding a world with 9 billion people, ensuring that we have enough water, and addressing big ocean issues like overfishing, pollution, and climate change is the challenge of our century, your century. We are at a positive tipping point, I believe. I have seen so much progress in the last decade. Ocean conservation is on a roll, and I know you'll keep the momentum going. So congratulations to you on your terrific work, and thank you for having me here today to talk to you via video.